So this is where the battery used to be. See the battery holder? And the battery is missing and the other side of this plastic holder is missing. The issue is that there is a plastic section here that would hold uh, the battery on this side. And that is gone. Um, the computer is at least 10 years old. So I think it probably, uh, you know, the plastic just lost its strength and then fell. I have the extra battery, but it's just not going to fit here at all. I mean, the, the whole mechanism that was holding the battery down is just gone. So fortunately, I have a couple of these batteries which can kind of do the same job that the other battery does on a desktop computer. But it's just uh, in a case, like a plastic case here, and it has wires coming out of it. This is the same um, CMOS battery that can, goes in the laptop, does the same job to hold the date and time. So I'm going to take this, cut the front end off, and take the wires, and then connect those wires directly to the a place where the normally the battery goes in the computer and the positive goes on on the top of the battery so if this was the battery here and the positive is on connected to the top and negative is on the bottom so keep that in mind so the black wire here so I look at this closely this is how I connect it you can see that the black wire is connected to the underside of the battery you can see on the lower side of the battery that there's a little bit of indentation that show where the wire is connected. So that's the black wire here. So that is going to go, the negative wire is going to go to the base of the computer. So this plays on the, on the battery holder and the positive wire is going to go and connect on this terminal. This is what I've done so far. I removed the connector uh, from the end of the wire, exposed the wires here, and so I gotta twist them a little bit so that uh, make them in one wire. So the black wire, which is gonna go uh, to the base, I've made that into a smaller, um, uh, smaller uh, loop here, a more flat loop, because uh, that's gonna go and connect to that. This one is still open. So this one uh, looks like I got this connected nicely. You can see um, it's connected here. The wire is twisted around. The extra wire is twisted around the red wire. So I'll make sure that's nice and snug in the other portion now. Uh, the other part is to connect the black wire, the negative wire. So it's already got this loop around it. So all I gotta do is make sure it goes and fits in this base connector, the negative connector. Oh, one of these times I make it happen. Nice. Now I got this battery just laying around and that is not acceptable. So I think the, I gotta find a place. So I'm get, I think I'm gonna do is just connect it, take some uh, super glue and connect it around here. Let's just kind of sit here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of a super glue, which is actually super glue gel, um, this one here. So they have a little bit better control um, on how much glue I put in here. Yeah, it's a tiny bit. with the glue on I'm gonna put that in one of these slots so both my wires are still connected to their terminals the red one here the black one there and the battery is in this little plastic uh, thing here so it should hold um, it should not come out of the slot 
No, hopefully not. So, let's find out if this worked. I'm waiting for it to ask me to set the date at least once. If, the, if it accepted the battery, it should ask me to set the date once uh, so that it can hold that date going forward. All right, uh, looks like he got the date in. Nice. All right, so I'm very happy with the results with the new battery in. Thanks for watching.